Hello and welcome to Indrawn Art. My name is Indra and we are drawn to art. In this video I'm gonna draw the character Rainbow Dash as a male pony in the world of Far Cry 5. So let's go! After a few warm-up sessions drawing some female and male characters from the My Little Pony series to get the design right and to remember how do male ponies look like and how do female ponies look like in the series, I started to draw the actual sketch and I liked it instantly. I liked the facial expression, I liked the pose of her, of him in this <laughs> case. Um, I needed a little reference picture um, of Rainbow Dash to have um, the details right. The problem I always have is that I draw the middle part of the body much too long and I was happy that I could adjust it easily um, and I guess that's why I drew an Asian dragon for my YouTube banner because it has a quite a long body. <laughs> So um, here I draw the moon flowers um, that are used by Eden's Gate for the production of the drug bliss. Uh, I didn't want it to draw it on the character because it made it too blissful, I can say that. So I just added the flowers in the background. I add uh, the bliss silo, um, which you can find in John's region. I always have to think about John, Joseph, there's always sounds the same. <laughs> Don't tell them! Yeah, I need a reference um, because I wasn't so sure about the rooftop of the silo. I add the iconic yes sign in the background, which is also in John's um, region, not season. Um, and I really enjoy to destroy that sign with my plane. <gasps> Yes, and listening to him when he started to get really angry. Ah, oh, yeah, good times. Well, anyways, so um, I here I add in the sketch um, the um, scars telling sinner and pride. And I think in this game, no matter what, you are a sinner. It's just like that. Okay, you're a sinner here. Okay, well. Okay. And I think pride was quite a good um, sin for Rainbow Dash that she has to atone for because she's very proud in the series and yeah. And I add the cross of the cult above the cutie mark because you can just not just um, erase a cutie mark without using some strong magic. And a little fun fact, the cult logo actually bears a strong resemblance to the Church of Scientology cross. Here at the background and the base colors that are all on different layers so I don't have trouble when I start adding the background. I used some guidelines for her rainbow tail um, because I screwed it up sometime. <laughs> yeah, and more and more um, details to the colors and I colored the line art as well so it matches the style of My Little Pony. I add more colors to the background, all flat colors first. Here I start adding the um, shadow with a soft airbrush. I actually always use a soft airbrush to add the shadows and here I used a smudge tool to draw um, the grass because I didn't want to draw every single blade of grass by itself. So it would be annoying. Now I add some more shadows to the meadow and a foreground with darker plants to get a frame for my picture. For the cult logo on the silo I used a special brush to make it look like it's really drawn on top of wood. I add some more shadows to the background here to the stone and I drew the cutie mark of Rainbow Dash. More shadows in the far background. I wanted to have the simplistic look of the My Little Pony style and I refine the Yes logo in the background some more. I had to use a reference for the S because it has been a little bit tricky to draw. 
Now I start shading the character itself again with a soft airbrush with a lower um, opacity so I can build up the shading more and more, make the shadows darker and darker. I add more shadows to her belly, uh, to his belly, and I use a color picker to get a nice and smooth transition between the darker areas of her body and the lighter areas. I use different sizes of the brush, a smaller size when I want to get some more details like on the hooves right now and I use a bigger brush to get the smooth transition between the dark and the light colors. Here I use a very thin soft brush to get all the details on her wings. It's pretty hard to see because the lines are very 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 thin but I wanted to have this amount of detail. I actually wanted to add some more highlights to it but this would have been too much detail for the simplistic look of My Little Pony. I actually always have this problem to get very simplistic and I think oh my gosh the image doesn't look finished but then I have to really stop myself, stop drawing and return to the picture to really see um, the progress I did and not to overdo it to get too bright colors. After working on the last highlights I added some bounce light on his belly which is the green reflection of the grass when the light hits the grass and bounces off back to the belly in this case. I add some more shadow to the mane and unfortunately I lost a part of the recording and I basically only um, darkened the shadows some more. I play around with some color adjustments but I went too far and I erased most of it. Yeah, finishing touches to the image and I add a blur to the background to push the character more to the viewer. I hope you enjoyed my Far Cry 5 My Little Pony mashup and my voiceover. Comment below what you most enjoyed about playing Far Cry 5 and let me know if you have any ideas or suggestions for future videos. Say yes to the video by liking it and even hitting the subscribe button. You surely walk through Edith's gate if you do. Have a nice day and thanks for watching. Bye!